So we had a cold snap for a few weeks. I got back from Michigan and I had to quarantine during this cold weather. So it really wasn't that bad. So during the quarantine, I decided to work on this room a little bit and it was a disaster. And I can show you that right now. Such a huge mess. I kept procrastinating getting around to it. Okay, so I'm in my studio, or my back bedroom, which is going to be my studio. And I've been finishing up the mudding and then painting, and now I'm putting a coat of ceiling paint on the ceiling. And this is what it looks like so far. There's no electricity in this room yet because I need to have it inspected, but I have to have all the drywall up in the whole house before it's inspected. So this is the disaster room right now. <laughs> but I'd rather be outside. Gonna take a look at this beautiful blue sky. Wow, I would rather be out there. So if I can finish, I'm gonna go outside and treat myself to a walk. And this is me working on it a little bit. Then I took a break and this is me making cookies. And then I took another break and went for a walk. And this is just a little bit of the geese and the hockey nets. Looks like there was some kids playing hockey here. Here are their hockey nets. Must have been out there. My goal for 2021 is to finish my room or this studio. So during the quarantine, I did spend about five days uh, working on it and I got some of it finished. I, I'll show you here. Yeah. So I framed in the wood around the windows and I still have to put up some trim. I put three coats of paint on and I'm gonna show you like I already showed you how what, what it looked like it when it was a disaster. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And um, that's my little area over there that I do my art. So this is all of my markers here and pencils. And it's actually not all of them. I don't have my Copic markers here, but I will put them but this is um, some of my markers and pencils. And this is my stool and my desk area and my light pad. And this here is something I'm gonna be working on. This is my Bob Ross little stuffed animal that my sister gave me. And I have a little, I've had this for about 10 years that my sister Debbie gave me. It's a little canvas with an easel. Bought one of these in one of my Christmas videos, I showed you this. And I think I'm gonna put this shelf up on this wall. And it's a nice little country wood shelf. I, I think it'll look nice in here with the wood wall. And um, he's gonna sit on top. 
and then I'm going to put the three the three little easels inside on the shelf. So that'll be a future video. And then I'm working on this painting here. I started this 10 years ago and as you can see this area here is not finished and I would love to finish this one on video also. And I think this is going to go it's going to go up on this wall. Cuz but I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. And just a bunch of drawers here with supplies and supplies over there, painting supplies. And yeah, this is my area. For now, I have my dragon from Amanda Lou on my windowsill and I have my special piggy bank on the windowsill as well. Just, I have a little bit more work to do. I did put up a door and I need to finish that, I need to frame in that closet and get a folding door over there, but I don't have one yet. And I'm finally, it's March, and I'm finally going to be putting away some of the Christmas decorations that I've had sitting by my front door and needing to go out for the last month. Such a mess. This is going to be a project for summertime because look at that loft. It's full. Boy, do I need to minimalize. There's, there's just way too much stuff in here. So after seeing that cluttered mess and the work that I have ahead of me on a nice spring day, I came up with this quote. I really would like to own less. How many of you are like me and have a hard time getting rid of things? So this quote resonates loud with me. I'd rather own less than organize more. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed, liked, and written a comment. And... I will see you in the next video.